Hey guys, Sepco Soccer Player. Today we're going to be talking about peak voltage adapters and why you have to have one if you're going to be doing electrical troubleshooting on any of your bikes. Let me show you. So today I'm going to be using a Snap-on EEDM DVA. This is a uh, peak voltage adapter, all right? Direct voltage adapter. And what this does is, and the reason you need it is because when you're doing a lot of um, troubleshooting on bikes, and for instance, this bike is a, a non-runner. This is an old YZF450. Uh, so this one has a problem running, and it has to do with a bad ECU. So the numbers I'm going to be getting out of it aren't going to be the are good numbers, but I'll be able to show you. So what happens is the pulses are so fast that a regular voltage, if you have something like this, this is um, just a cheaper one, and it can't pick up the voltage that's getting sent to it uh, and register it fast enough. So it's getting like tons of pulses going to it. If you're testing like your stator for maximum output on your stator, if you try and do that, again, when that's spinning, every time it senses and sending power, it's so quick. Your fuel injector is getting pulses that are really fast. Any of these things that you have to check, you need a peak voltage adapter. So let me show you how this thing works um, with and without the peak voltage adapter, and I'll show you why you need it. So I'm going to be jumping this one off of the lead that goes to the fuel injector. And this one here is my broken ECU. This one is not working properly. It's sending random uh, random numbers and voltages, and uh, it's just messed up. You can see this is cracked as well. So I got a new one coming, but I want to show you. It'll, it'll still uh, be able to demonstrate why it's important to have one. All right, so I got it hooked up to that. I just got it uh, probed in the back of the plug. All right, so the peak voltage adapter simply plugs in. All right, so you just take it and you plug it into the matching colors on here. Select what you want for your um, voltage, what you're te testing, and then your wires just plug into the backside. So let me get you set up here. I'm going to prop this up somehow so you can see it. All right, so there we are. We got, we're at zero. I'm going to give this thing a couple of kicks, and you'll see a reading on there. So there you can see voltage readings. Again, this ECU is bad, so the readings aren't good. So now we're going to take it off. Just connect everything without the peak adapter on it. So now we're just looking like that. Let me show you what happens now. All right, so here we are now without the adapter on it, just straight. Nothing. It's not able to pick it up. So you see, without the peak voltage adapter, it's not able to pick up the pulses that are coming to the multimeter because they're com coming so fast. And it's just most of these multimeters are not uh, able to handle that. You can buy multimeters that already have that built in, so it's able to do that. But most of the ones that uh, DIY guys are going to be using, they're not going to have that. So these adapters... It's maybe, I think this one's like 60 bucks brand new. There's a bunch of other ones for sale that you can find in other places, but they're worth every penny and you really need them because if you're trying to troubleshoot um, any electrical problems and it calls for a, po a peak voltage um, adapter and you're not using that, you're not going to get good readings and you're going to have uh, false readings or no readings and you're thinking something's wrong. So you got to have the right tools for this kind of stuff. So make sure you get pick up one of those. Hopefully this helps you out, guys. Please have the right tools. You know, spend your time doing your troubleshooting. It's going to save you a lot of money. And it's going to save you a lot of time from just throwing parts at a bike. So this one's got a bad ECU. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. And uh, this actually had a bunch of things wrong with it. It sat for a long time. But you want to be able to troubleshoot all that stuff. And these little tools here and there, you know, put some money aside, buy them, and get those uh, tools built up so you got them for each bike that comes in. Until next time, guys, please do me a favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, this is Tepco Sacrifice.